Hello friends! Wow, I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Hello <laughs> Right. Hello friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Now listen up, hear me out. I am not taking responsibility for this video. I'm blaming one of you. That's right. I received a DM on Instagram saying, hey, Cherry, have you seen the new mystery ones? You can get them at B&M, the, the Professor series. I hadn't heard of these. I was living my life quite happily oblivious, but obviously I ended up going to B&M because you chose to show me them. Now it's all right, so I got to B&M. I did get some of these ones. I got, you know, I control myself. I got a few, mostly. Yes, I ended up actually coming away with one of their promotional stands this time because you guys are enablers. So I'm blaming you for this. You are responsible for this. Just saying. But let's get on with the video. If you're brand new to this channel and you want to see what mystery ones that we've got. I've lost my wand. Oh, here it is. I've got plenty to go around. <laughs> and then if you're brand new to this channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go because we've got one, two, three, many ones to reveal. Twelve. <laughs> That's how we count. <laughs> okay then, here we have it. Now these are the Harry Potter special edition Professor series. So it's the Mystery One Professor series. It says this contains one of nine Mystery Ones and at this time they've got a one stand and it's made in die cast iron so the stands are actually metal which is pretty cool so these are i think these were the same price as the last one so that surprises me let's have a look at here these are all the ones that we can get all 12 inches i believe there are some ones that i do not have we've got the elder wand we've got Phileas Flitwick, Remus Lupin, Minerva McGonagall, Alistair Moody, Horace Slughorn, Sarah Snape, Pomona Sprout, and Sybil Trelawney. I'm excited for that one. Really hope I get it. But yeah, so you can get these. I got mine from b and I don't know if you can get them on Lime. On Lime? <laughs> on a Lime. <laughs> but I'm assuming that you can get them on the internet as well. So check them out, it's the Professor series. Let's just get straight on into it because I'm excited. Okay, here we have it. The first one, who do you reckon it's gonna be? Leave a comment down below. Now, last time I did do a little giveaway with some of my duplicates. They've all been sent in the outpost now. Uh, so congrats if you got one of those. I might do another little giveaway at the end of this video, but let's see who we've got. Oh, I think this might be... Hang on, where's the stands? <gasps> Magical underneath secret compartment. Um, this is Remus's wand. Let's have a look at these stands first because these, oh, that is cute. Let's get these out. Okay, so here's that. So we've got the little stand that says Remus Lupin. It's got a Hogwarts crest. That's where the wand goes. But what's really cool is, oh, these are really heavy. They're like really heavy metal cast um, emblems of things that represent the professors. So obviously we've got the wardrobe which held all the boggarts in from Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, so these I assume just slot in. Oh, that's quite nice actually. These feel much higher quality than our previous mystery ones. So let's get the actual wand itself out. So here we have it. We've got his wand. Here, now, Remus has quite a simple wand. It's just basically got a bit of a ball at the end. But tell you what, feels good. Feels good to swish and flick. But yes, yeah, so here we have it. Now, this stand has a little thing here that you can then put the wand in. I mean, that's quite a nice display, isn't it? I really like these. These are actually really pleasant. Very nice. I do like, that's a good start. I'm going to put Remus's wand over here. We're gonna have a little wand display. It's gonna be very magical. Okay, onto wand number two. SCU we've got. I oh, really want Sybil Trelawney. My dear, you have the groom. Right, um, who have we got, who have we got, who have we got? Oh, get out. Ooh. Did we just, did we just, we, we, we just got Sybil Trelawney. I manifest 
isn't it? Come on, that's really weird. I was like, oh, <laughs> wasn't expecting her next. Magique, this is beautiful. So again, all the stands, the black stands with the crest on are the same except the name. So there we have Sybil Trelawney and then, Oh, this is gorgeous. It's one of the divination crystal balls with the elephants. Really, really nice. It's actually a replica that I don't have yet, which I would quite enjoy to put on my divination shelf. Maybe I'll do a little bit of online shopping later. So yes, here we have Professor Trelawney's wand. And let's, uh, I've never seen her wand before. So here it is. It's got a little bit of a serious black vibe with all of these runes down the edges because his wand has them all the way down but she's got like this twisty kind of curvy bit to her wand i'm very very bad at describing what wands look like really really like that let's pop it on in to the little stand put it on over here there we go our collection has begun number three who do i want next horace slughorn would be a nice one i mean they're all luscious they all look amazing People are going to start thinking about witch if we do get slug on. <laughs> she knows. <gasps> oh, I think we've got Minerva. Oh, we do. Now I've actually just bought her a f her um, noble collection replica collector wand. So this is quite nice. I like that. Well, this one is interesting because the end of the wand is painted on, so it's not an actual crystal gem thing, which there is on the replica one, but still really nice. It looks really pretty. It looks pretty, it's very recognizable as Minerva's wand. So there we have it. Let's see what her beautiful little stand looks like. Pop it on out. There we go, Minerva Mag McGonagall. And then, classic, we have got her as a cat. That's really nice. These are so nice that they're die cast. They feel like really sturdy. They are very nice. And then we can just go ahead and put that on in. Oh, look at that. It's just delightful. Let's go ahead and put Minerva next to Sybil. Lucky number four. Still holding out for Horace Slughorn because I love the Slughorn Hourglass and that is his little icon. The snakes looks quite good as well with the cauldron. Let's, who's it gonna be? Who is it? Oh, I think it might be Snape. Ooh, look at that. We got Severus Snape. Okay, let's look at the stand first. So there we go, Severus Snape. We are on a roll. I always say that and then I jinx it. So we're not on a roll. He has got a potions cauldron, which is sat above some flames which is quite cool like look at that just feels really nice and then a classic snape wand here we have it there are still parts of me that are just like oh they're too chunky they could make i know that these ones are more for the younger wizards and witches so that they can they can play with these as the official replica ones from noble collection they are more collectibles and they are not toys and they can be quite fragile so I do understand why they have made these a lot more chunky but mm, I really like the stands and I kind of wish that they were a little bit thinner I don't know either way there we go we've got our fourth professor wand oh there we go it's getting a bit crowded over here number five still holding out for slug wand. I don't actually have slug wand's wand She's a witch. Um, it's Slughorn's wand we have next. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, uh, let's just talk about the wand first because that is like, oh, it's beautiful. I'm going to have to get his wand, like the collectible one, because that's really nice. I love that the top of it actually looks like a little bit of a slug head. And I also like the paintwork on it. And this looks metal, even though it's not, but it's got a good feel to it. You can kind of wrap your little pinky finger around the little the slug antennae, but that's cool. Oh my God, I'm so happy that we've got his. So let's have a look at the stand, which I'm very excited about. So we've got Horace Slughorn, and then this is what excites me because we have the hourglass, which is very, rather nice, really smooth. So let's pop that on in. How lucky are we so far? And then we'll pop his wand in there. 
It's beautiful. Okay, we we're, we're getting crowded. I'm gonna have to go over here. There you go. Okay, I see if I know which. Who are we gonna get next? I would like hmm, Pomona Sprout because there's some little tiny mandrake that comes out of a pot and it's very very cute. I mean they're all awesome. Okay, let's see who have we got. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, that's a lovely wand. Um, I think this might be Flitwick's. Um, not sure. Don't have his. It is. That's a really lovely one. It's the one with the feather, because he's the charms professor that taught Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, you pop. Oh, that's. Oh, it's even got the spell on it. What? Look, it's got the little spell on the bottom, which is a very nice touch, if I do say so myself. Let's pop that in there. His one's really nice. I've never seen even the collectible version of this. Well, I must have if I recognized it, but I wasn't 100% sure, but it's really an odd shape. Um, it's a very natural wood looking shape. So that's quite cool. Let's pop him in there. Ooh, okay, we're six down. Let's see what the seventh one can bring us. There are nine to collect, by the way, and we've got six, and I've got six chances left. Is this gonna be the video where we get them all? Because I will lose my Bertie Bot Beams, let me tell you. I'm feeling lucky today. Okay, who don't we have? We do not have the Elder Wand, which I guess Dumbledore. It's really weird that they've named all the professors, but for the Elder Wand, they've just put, they, they haven't put Albus Dumbledore, they've just put Elder Wand. But they've got the the door to his office on there. Strange. Okay, so yes, the Elder Wand we need. We need Alistair Moody. And we need Pomona Sprout. That's it. Okay. I'm ready. Oh, I had a feeling we were going to get a repeat. So this is one that I may be giving away at the end of this video. This is... Horace Slughorn's wand. I am going to shut that back up so that it's still nice and safe. So you could win one of these. All the information will be in the description box and I'll tell you later on. Okay. Right. It's all right. We've still got five chances. That's a lot of chances. You ready? Are you ready? Ah, oh, it's another duplicate. So this means that I will be giving this one away as well and this is Minerva McGonagall's wand which is very very nice so we'll pop that back in so we've got one two three we've got four more chances to get three more we were doing so well oh we were doing so well I've jinxed it this is a Snape so I might be giving his away I tend to do three wand giveaways so I won't be doing all of them but you never know who you'll get this is the third to last one. Come on! Ooh, good feeling about this one, I think. Okay. Oh. <gasps> I did have a good feeling! <laughs> Just saying, she's magical. Okay, this is the Elder Wand. It's a very small Elder Wand because the Elder Wand is actually one of the longest ones that you can get in the collectibles. But here it is. It does look just like it. Let me just get oh, the collectible one. You can see how short they've made it. They've actually missed one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they do have the same amount of bobbly bits on. They've just shortened the length between them. But as you can see, they're pretty, they're pretty close in design. And yeah, I mean, if you didn't know that that one was long, you probably couldn't tell the difference. So there we have it. Exciting times. That means that we have got the Griffin door. <laughs> it even says the Elder One on the stand. It should say Albus Dumbledore. I know it's not always been him and it's had allegiance to many other people, but still, it's the Professor's series, and here's the Professor. So here we have it. We could pop it in there. That's very nice. That means we have only got two more chances and two more ones that we need to get the full set. Oh my God, let's pop that here. Okay, they look so magnificent all next to each other. 
Come on, Sprout. Okay, is it gonna be Sprout? Is it gonna be Moody? <sighs> Leave your guesses down below. <gasps> okay. Ah, oh, <laughs> it's another elder one. That means we can't get the full set now, but we might still have a chance to get Professor Sprout. So I think I will make this one of the giveaways instead of Snape's, because this is like the elder wand. It's a very special, powerful wand. Last one. I really want Sprout's wand. Can we get it? Last one of the video. Oh, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Flipwick wand. <laughs> oh, that just made me sad. Oh, I really wanted the I really wanted the sprout one. Ooh. Do you guys have the sprout one? Do you have a duplicate? Let me know. <laughs> okay, so I have got seven out of the nine that we could have got. I did get five duplicates, which means I am gonna be giving away three of the duplicates to three of you guys. I'm gonna do the same as last time. If you wanna be in with a chance, leave a comment down below with a lightning bolt and leave your Instagram or Twitter at your username, your handle, so that I can contact you personally I will say it again, make sure that if I do contact you, make sure that uh, the account is legit and it's verified so you're not having like a, a fake account, try and get your details and everything. So yes, I will reach out to three of you guys in a week or so. I use a random comment generator picker thing so it's completely fair. And then I will send you a mystery wand via the outpost. It's worldwide, so it doesn't matter where you are. So yeah, enter down below. Right, let me just move all of these first. Let's have a little chat about the ones that we have got today from the mystery sets. I'm gonna have Slughorn over here with me. So what are my thoughts on these mystery ones, the Professor series? Well, we have opened ones on this channel before and the first ones that we opened, not sure what series that was, it might have been series two, but they had the ones themselves and they also had the lenticular bookmarks. I did like the bookmarks, but these just feel on a whole different level. You get the stands so that you can display the ones in all its their wonderful magical glory but also I really really enjoyed the die cast kind of logos and like emblems that they've made it makes them feel a little more luxurious and special and maybe a bit more magical and it was a little bit extra to kind of unbox and reveal I thought it was a lot of fun so would I recommend these over the previous ones yes I would and yeah as I mentioned earlier like they're the same price which blows my mind but these are all really nice and really enjoyed unboxing these I hope you did too so yes overall I did really enjoy this particular series of mystery ones and I would love to know your thoughts what was your favorite wand out of this entire set but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a magical thumbs up and I will see you guys next time I've got to stop buying mystery things. Um, it's becoming a problem. <laughs> you done? Uh, yeah. Ooh, sausage rolls. <laughs> I'm horrible. Oh, this is why you're single.